another very important concept uh, which we shall need uh, in uh, our uh, uh, future discussions is distribution for vector fields uh, f1 f2 up to fk which uh, uh, are in this domain which belong to this domain domain is subset of uh, our n dimensional space so span of these vector fields uh, denoted by delta of x is called distribution so what is span span of vectors right all the vectors which can be obtained by linear combination of these vectors that is called span of these vectors so span of these vector fields that is called distribution what is a rank or dimension of a distribution so rank are also called a dimension of a distribution is the number of independent vector fields uh, to demonstrate it we take uh, this uh, distribution uh, we have two vector fields f1 and f2 and the span of these two vector fields is a distribution so uh, how many uh, independent vectors are there these two vectors are independent we cannot get uh, for example this vector by any scalar multiple of this vector so these two vectors are independent therefore dimension of this distribution is equal to 2 for all x in this domain d is that clear so dimension is the number of linearly independent vector fields uh, in that uh, uh, distribution A distribution will be called non-singular if its rank is equal to number of uh, these vector fields. Here there are k vector fields and if uh, the uh, rank of that distribution is equal to uh, the number of vector fields, we shall call that distribution a non-singular distribution. What about this distribution? It is non-singular distribution because it has uh, two vector fields and rank of this distribution is also equal to 2. So this is a non-singular distribution. Uh, in other uh, example because this is again a new concept. So uh, we have uh, uh, this distribution which is a span of three vector fields f1, f2 and f3. Where f1, f2 and f3 are given over here so what is a rank of this distribution rank of this distribution is 2 because uh, we can get uh, for example this vector this vector by multiplying x2 with this vector so these two vectors are not independent of each other uh, what about third one third one is independent so uh, rank of this distribution is equal to 2 for all x uh, in this domain uh, excluding x1 equal to 0 because at x1 equal to 0 if uh, x1 is equal to 0 this third vector 0 0 0 third vector is 0 in that case rank of uh, this distribution will be equal to how much rank of distribution will be 1 there will be only one independent uh, vector fields because this zero vector is always dependent linearly dependent upon any other vector fields so this will be it will not be linearly independent this is also not linearly independent so we have only one independent uh, vector so if x1 is allowed to be equal to zero then rank of this distribution will be equal to uh, one but uh, in this domain which excludes this point x1 equal to 0 in this domain rank of this distribution is equal to 2 uh, is this uh, uh, distribution singular or non singular yes this is a singular distribution another concept is involutive distribution a distribution will be involutive 
if uh, for two vector fields f i and f j which belong to this distribution for any of these two vector fields which belong to this distribution if their Lie bracket also belongs to this distribution then that distribution is called involutive distribution is this clear uh, for any two vectors in which belong to this uh, uh, distribution if their Lie bracket also belongs to that distribution then that distribution will be called involutive distribution again the uh, this example uh, we have uh, this distribution with the uh, uh, two vector fields f1 and f2 and uh, we uh, want to determine whether this distribution is involutive or not for that purpose we shall compute Lie bracket we have already learned how to compute Lie bracket Lie bracket of these two vector fields is equal to this is basically partial uh, f2 over uh, partial x and multiplied by f1 minus partial f1 over uh, partial x multiplied by uh, f2 and uh, we get this uh, Lie bracket and uh, what do you think uh, this uh, does this vector belong to this distribution or not so this uh, does not belong to this distribution therefore this distribution is not involutive uh, in other way to check whether this third vector belongs to this distribution or not is by checking the rank of this matrix so you can check the rank of this matrix to see if this third vector which is generated over here if this vector uh, belongs to uh, this distribution then what will be the rank of this uh, this matrix if it does not belong then rank will be equal to 3 if it belongs to this thing then it uh, its rank will be the same as rank of this distribution so let's check it rank of this matrix where this is the first vector f1 this is second vector field f2 and this uh, is uh, basically 0 0 1 is uh, the Lie bracket of f1 and f2 so rank of this comes out to be equal to 3 uh, that is this third vector does not belong to this distribution uh, so if it does not belong to this distribution this distribution will not be an involutive distribution so delta is not an involutive distribution is that clear in other example uh, we have this delta uh, this distribution span of uh, vector fields f1 and f2 where f1 is over here f2 is over here now you already know how to compute their uh, Lie uh, bracket. I think we have already uh, computed Lie bracket of these two vector fields on some previous slide. If not, you can compute it. So that is given over here. So what do you think uh, uh, about uh, this distribution? So if we simply multiply this vector field with 2, uh, uh, rather minus 2, we get this uh, vector field. That is... Uh, this uh, this vector belongs to this distribution hence this distribution is an involutive distribution this belongs to delta and you, you can also check it by uh, finding the rank of this matrix and rank of this matrix comes out to be equal to 2 for all x in this domain and hence uh, this is uh, by mistake this uh, delta is an involutive distribution this is incorrectly written delta is an involutive distribution because uh, this uh, Lie bracket also belongs to this uh, distribution itself so please make this correction uh, this is your homework uh, for uh, this uh, distribution uh, which is span of vector fields f1 f2 and f3 uh, you have to determine whether this distribution is an involutive distribution or not so again what you have to do here you remember that you have three vector fields so you have to compute the Lie bracket of f1 and f2 you have to compute Lie bracket of f1 and f3 you have also to compute Lie bracket of f2 and f3 all possible combinations because 
here f i and j for any i j uh, in uh, in this uh, range so you have to con compute all those lie brackets and finally uh, find the uh, rank of uh, this uh, this thing that is you have to uh, find uh, this lie bracket this lie bracket and this lie bracket and find the rank of this matrix to determine whether this distribution is involutive or not so we close uh, to this uh, discussion over here because this was uh, something uh, a little bit mathematical and uh, we shall talk about this relative degree in the next lecture again this concept of relative degree will be uh, uh, useful and will be utilized uh, to study uh, feedback linearization of nonlinear systems